how y'all doing today? So yesterday was an intuitive day. I encourage you to have an intuitive day as well. It was so good, I'm repeating it again today. Maybe this will become the new. I'm not thinking beyond the now. But yesterday went so nice. My intuitive day, and it ended magical. Ended magical. It ended magical. Let me just tell you. It ended magical. And I wasn't even expecting it to end the way it ended because this is what happened yesterday. So yesterday was a really good day. My energy was really high. I was out with sexy jungle gal, and, you know, she was like, come on, let's, let's go out tonight you know, to downtown and just chill, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. And I was just on this high all day, and I was good all day, right? Oh, my flower, my hibiscus flower. I did not pick this off. It had already fallen. I'm like, why would you pick it off? Like, you know what I'm saying? The earth gives us, they sh the earth shares with us. Whoop, whoop. It's going to fall off again, but it is what it is. So... It ended, okay, it doesn't want to stay. So it ended really, really nice. Um, <laughs> things went my way. I conjured up some things to my benefit. Let me just put it like that. I'm such a fucking lady. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm going to talk to y'all. You know what? Bump it. We ain't got no secrets, right? We out here. No, no. No, I want the camera. That's, um, oh, no, 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 I'm at the wrong house. Okay, wrong move. Never I'm totally at the wrong place, like, all together. Damn, I got a backtrack walk. Anyway, so, yeah, so, um, I did, I did her face like mine. Like, I put the, the, um, tinted, um, gold stuff. Did I mango? Mangoes for real? Yeah. Ooh. They are beautiful. They're not ready yet, Go though. Go eat what, uh, inside. 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 They're gonna be good once they're ready. Mm -hmm. Fruit is still growing right now. Mangoes. It's bueno. Oh, mm -hmm. I was coming to you. Mm -hmm. I was coming to you. You have something? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't speak Spanish. Going over there. So I guess I'll just meet her over there. Okay, so here in the tropics, here in Honduras, here in Sambo Creek. Every time I say it, I realize I got to minimize that because I don't know what's happening all in the tropics. I don't know what's happening all in Honduras. Here in Sambo Creek, it's so different because the aunties are the ones that sell weed here. It's so interesting. It's very interesting. It's only two women. And they're both over the, they're at least 50, both of them. I think the one I was just at her house was by mistake. <clears throat> she got to be like 60 something. They, uh, it's, it's different. It's different. Oh, she's not even coming yet. Maybe somebody is at her house. Um, yeah, it's very different. And this guy just showed me, this man just showed me a mango tree. Mangoes are still growing. Beautiful, beautiful. You know I'm gonna hit that tree up. Like straight facts, I'm gonna hit that tree up. Um, so what was I saying? So my intuitive day, focusing on myself, moving by how my intuition tells me to move, it just ended up being a beautiful day and it ended up being a cozy kind of night, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. And um I just wanna repeat that. Like I want the day I had yesterday again today but with different occurrences and whatnot but that energy that intuitiveness just following it and it made me feel happy and um yeah and today i'm just you know doing me as usual out here you know got on a little outfit and whatnot you know what i'm saying my little one one piece and whatnot i got a lot of cellulite y'all and i don't care like if you're i care let me rephrase that I don't feel ashamed of it, and if I do have moments where I feel ashamed, I just walk through that shit, like, straight past. Like, let's say I got on some short shorts, and I walk past a whole bunch of cute dudes. Like, I'm aware, like, they all gonna be looking, but I'm like, fuck that shit, like, I only want one man. I don't want all these men in the whole earth, you know what I'm saying? I get enough attention to be able to say no enough, and that makes me feel cute, you know? Women, we love to be able to say, no, I'm good, I'm good, thank you, Dad, you know what I'm saying? 
And until I find, not I find, fuck that shit. Until my king and I gravitate to the same frequency. I believe he's already on his frequency. I gotta gravitate to his frequency. That's what I believe. For real. Oh no. Oh, I don't know. No, it's me. Uh, okay, okay. No, it's in the fucking nada. Ha ha ha. This baby is so beautiful, it's not even funny. Like, they make beautiful babies out here. Beautiful, dark, complex babies. What's up? Right. Is your family? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm just trying to get something. She's saying something in Spanish. I don't know what she's saying. But, yeah. Whew. So, this guy that's here, this is the guy... Uno? Mm -hmm. um, this is the guy that I'm always showing at his place on the on the playa because he has um hammocks. But like I was saying, like get out here. Like don't even live your life thinking about what other people think about you, about your body, like about whatever. I, for it might be you know everywhere I go, I might be faced with different type of things, but. You just gotta learn to face yourself because it's all you at the end of the day. You're the only one in existence. So walk that walk. Strut, girl. Strut. Do you, boo. Get to the tropics where you can be grounded, you know what I'm saying? Don't fake like you all good and you know you ain't good. Get to the tropics. Get your feet on the dirt. Get your vitamin D. Eat organically from the earth. Live where your food grows. And just be in alignment with nature and everything else will fall into place. It will, it will. Um, but yeah, just be confident, be you, be be bold. Because I'm bold. That's one thing I, I can say about my energy is that I'm bold. What's up, Richard? Necesito mas co coco. Um, mañana? Richard. Mañana co mas cocos? Porfa. For real. Mañana? Mañana? Okay, Richard. That's so cute. So handsome. That baby is so... I wanted to show y'all, but you can't just be putting your camera on other people's babies. I'm in a whole other country. I want these girls to beat me up. Be trying to fight. No, my energy doesn't even give off that fight energy. Um, a lot of people were, like, telling me at first, like, oh, don't interact with the locals, da 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 da, da. Eventually, they're going to try to put you in some type of situation or whatever. But I've been chilling. Like, I don't give off, I don't give off um, the type of vibes to make the women here be like that. So, I'd be good. I'd be good. Like, I, I just do me. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, another thought that I want to share with you guys um, is this whole ascension process. What is ascension? Where is ascension? In fact, where is ascension? That's the thought that I've been thinking today. Where is ascension? Because everybody says, I want to ascend. I want to ascend. But then those same people will be like, I'm a life path number, whatever. And it's confusing because if you're supposed to go up to 9 or 11 or whatever the, the last life path number is, then how can I be a life, life path three and I be about to ascend? Don't I have more lessons to learn? And also, I just believe that we're here to learn to die. And then maybe we get to a point where we ascend. And what is, where is ascension? Is it on um, Nibiru and we'll be hella technologically advanced and we don't have the same health problems, but we, we'll be faced with totally different problems. Is ascension, does, does ascension equate no more problems? Because I don't believe such a place exists. I believe that every everything has its yin and its yang, right? Well, some people may think that this is the only place of duality. Um, but I don't believe that. I just don't feel that this is the only place of duality. Seriously. But people that have not been there is are trying to convince us that ascension is this beautiful thing that nobody has went to and come back from. Which reminds me of the Bible talking about heaven. You know? Like... What is it? Where is it? No one knows, but everybody wants to obtain it. I believe that each life, each, each time you, you come back, like, 
you're, we're, we're here to learn how to die so we can do better the next time. Until we get to our highest self and whatever that means or equates to, I'll find out when I get there. But I haven't met a person on the journey that I can be like, yeah, they're on their way to ascension. Like, nigga, people been living for millions and millions of years and shit. Like, or thousands of years, whatever. Why am I acting like somebody ascended and came back and told me about it? <sighs> I gotta just get my mind together and be more focused. What is ascension? Where is ascension? Why do we, why do we um, focus our conscious journey on it? I just want to, when I reincarnate, to be comfortable. That's what I realize now. What, wherever that takes me, that's just what it is. I just want to be comfortable, completely comfortable. My skin is itching. I don't know why. It's hot. That's why. I can't believe I'm so dark skinned and my skin acts like it's allergic to the sun or something sometimes. I don't know what the hell this is. I just don't know what the hell this is. Actually, I do. It's the dairy that I've been eating ever since I was born or ever since I was an infant. You know, when you keep giving your children shit that they're allergic to, their bodies get off. And now that I'm not, my body got used to all that crap. And now that I'm not taking in all that crap anymore, my body is like trying to figure itself out and get back into homeostasis. It's taken too damn long, if you ask me, but I spent years, most of my life, putting dairy in my body, destroying myself from the inside out. So the consequences is when I get in the sun and it starts to make me perspire a little bit on my body, I start getting hives. And I'm still trying to figure it out. The locals have given me the leaves. I've used the, the leaves. But I want to see results, not just feel cool. Like, yeah, it makes my body feel cool. But I want to see these hives go the hell away, you know? And stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, back to ascension. So, since you don't know anyone who's ever ascended, don't live your life like they, someone who's the person that's telling you about it is guaranteed to get to a certain place. Like, I don't know, nigga, where you going. I don't know anything other than my experience in the now. I don't even know, like, they're, they're, I use the tools that help me, of course. My life path number. I use, you know, my human design. I use astrology. All those things to to figure out my debilitations and face myself because I do have debilitations. And I believe that as we face our debilitations, we level up. What does that mean to me? Leveling up means you are you are in alignment for a good preparation for your um, transition. If I am a life path four, then when I come back, I'm gonna be I'm a life path three. When I come back, I, I'm gonna be a life path four, which means I'm not gonna have as much childlike energies as I have right now. Which means I don't even know what life path four is all about. But this experience around, I'm, I have a lot of childlike energies. I have a lot of youthful energy, whatever. Um, I look forward to life path four. Let's see what the journey entails for me. Like, I don't even know what ascension is, but at least I can look up life path four. How you doing? Hello. And I can be able to be like, okay, that's cool. I know that karma is real. And I know that this lifetime, I haven't racked up any. I might have had some from last lifetime that's experienced this lifetime. But I know I haven't racked up any bad karma. I'm saying I've racked up some good karma like I'm a this lifetime. So I look forward to the next lifetime being easier. Like, I don't hate the planet Earth. I hate the experience I'm having on the planet Earth. <laughs> Let's just get it clear. I don't, I don't like to be in an environment that's not conducive to my health. I don't like to suffer, period, point blank. Who does? And now that I know where I'm supposed to be, like, this is breaking karma. Me moving from Babylon, well, that Babylon to this Babylon. The Babylon of gray to the Babylon of UVB. To, um, I do know that this in itself is breaking karma. Because, think about it. When we were free, and we were told we could go, right? Why the hell did he stay? Freaking karmic debt, yo. We had to pay karmic debt. So you you gotta you gotta pay that shit. So 
I'm still living out that debt because I'm I'm here in another form of my son. And it's like, yeah, but if I have any more children, whether it be adopted or from my womb, I know that they will be in the tropics. You know what I'm saying? So we're breaking curses. Just get it. If you can't do it all, do what you can. And the best thing that you can do for yourself is get yourself to the tropics. If you can't give it up eating meat and all that as you can see people out here hella eating meat get yourself to the tropics if you can't give up partying or whatever thing that you like to do that is flesh fleshly do you live it up but get yourself in an environment that's conducive to you as a human every single day i give my pot to the earth which is a sacred energy exchange life is a sacred energy exchange Death is a sacred energy exchange. With that being said, get yourself in an, envi an environment where you're having sacred energy exchanges. Like I get to pick fruit from the tree. I get to, I get to give my soil to the earth. I get to ground. All of those things are things that help you become your highest version of yourself. So get yourself Bye. in a situation. Bye. Get yourself in a situation where you can live richly. And richness is not, is not. A monetary system it's not those freaking papers fuck that paper see that paper it comes from nature we need nature not that paper and <clears throat> if you get yourself in an environment that's conducive to you as a human you'll figure out the rest like you'll figure out as things resonate with you the things that you no longer want into your reality like you come out here you hella regular when it comes to your food you ain't got no title but you come out here and you start grounding you come out here and you start getting vitamin d3 in that ass like yeah yeah melanin popping like pop lots like pop rocks whatever you know what i'm saying like get out here and do do your part and i promise you things are going to start dropping little by little i'm realizing now you don't have to be an extremist, you know what I'm saying? That's not the only way to grow. You don't got to be extreme. You can do little things like, okay, now when I shop, I'm going to make sure, you know, I don't spend as much as I do. I'm going to decrease my materialism by X amount percent and know for a fact that you're consistently doing that. You know, that in itself is hurting the system because especially for us that are deeply melanated, so-called African-American, so-called Caribbean people, we spend a lot of money, yo. We spend a whole lot of money on stuff that we don't need. And just imagine if each one of us reduced our spending by 50%, the economy would freaking collapse. They would be wondering what, what the hell happened and why the hell, why the hell are they losing so much money from us? They'll be trying to figure it out. Who that's a walk boy. From the mountains to the playa boy. It's 15 minutes, but that sun is beaming on my skin and my skin is a little bit itchy. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I just need y'all to know that when, uh, what is ascension? What are you expecting to do your next lifetime? What do you want to do versus what someone else is telling you that are the options available to you? Who's creating your reality and how is it going to play out? How do you want it to play out? Have you seen someone ascend and come back and talk about it? Send me the link because I've never seen anybody ascend and come back and talk about it. I've never met a perfect being in general. Like, do only, do only perfect beings ascend? How does one become perfect? The perfection is within the imperfection. So it's just, it's, it's something to ponder on. Get to the tropics. Like, stay in tune with me. Learn what you need to know, the finances in and out. Make a real plan for yourself. If you got a house... Especially if you got a house that it can sell, man, you're in a very, very beautiful predicament. Sell that mother sucker. Sell it. If it's worth 110, sell it for 80. Get the fuck out of there, man. Get the fuck out of there. Do you know what you could do with 80 racks here? You could build a whole house on your own land and eat organically from, from the earth for the rest of your life. Pretty much. That doesn't mean you can't go back to the States if you want to. Now, I know they talk and try to scare and everything. And, and I was I was there, too, because at first I thought Babylon was going to, like, literally fall. Like, I was, like, so on that, like, Chief is Christ stuff. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, Babylon is going to, like, literally fall. I was, like, panicking. I had to get the hell up out of here because I didn't know what the hell was going on. But as I learned, Ariana. Hi, Mommy. Hi. 
What you doing? What you doing, mommy? What's up? Y'all see the baby? Baby's loving me. Yeah. Y'all remember Ariana? Who remembers Ariana? Ariana. Do mama? Don't man? Your mom is always sleeping. Come on, let's go wake her up. Go wake her up. Come on, Navida, wake her up, life. Come on, let's go wake her up. And I'll blame it on you. Navi, baby. Navi, baby. Yes, sir. Come on, mama. Navi, baby. Go get her. Go wake her up. Huh? Where's mommy? Navi. When the start is Navi. Is Navi a key? Okay, I'm gonna come later. She must be sleeping hard. See, see, see. Your mommy's sleeping hard. I'm gonna come back later, okay? I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. I know she's in there. I'll see you later. You want me to sit down? I have to go to the play. I'll see you later, mommy. I'll see you later. Whoa. What's up? What's up? Oh, she woke up? She wasn't no sleeping. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Navi baby? Work it. You look like a stud. <laughs> she looks like a stud. We are supposed to chat. <laughs> you want to chat with me right now? Okay, I'm gonna get off and call you. Oh, you see that? I'm sweating, y'all. Oh. That's why you can't really wear, wear makeup out here. If I had makeup on, I would probably be drenched just because the makeup would be like. Okay, you want me to sit? You want me to permanently sit? Hola, baby, y'all. Uh. Say hola. Say hi. What's the matter? What? What? Who speaks Spanish? What she say? The camera's so clear. She's not really used to seeing herself like that. This is a um Bluetooth speaker. Anyway, y'all, that's all I have for now. I'll talk to you later. I'm trying to make my next move. Peace to the... Shout out to my haters. 